Hello my stars, Magimotion here, and today we're going to be doing the 12th episode of my Skies of Arcadia Let's Play series. So, if we continue where we left off, which was, well, basically on Shrine Island. The reason being is because we decided to go here just as a stop-off point between going from, I think, Pirate Isle and heading towards NASA or the Kingdom of NASA, or whatever it's called. So apparently, we're going to be going to NASA today! Let's get our hiking boots out and start heading there, shall we? That's a good idea. Right, uh, actually, before we do that, let's just do a save. It's always a good idea to do saves, even when you don't need them. It's always a good idea. So, apparently this is a Shrine Island landing, which sounds about right. In fact, I might actually need to save over some of the other saves I have here, like the catacombs inside. Let's save against that one as well. Isn't that a good idea? And I could probably do the same again for the third one down. That one there. Uh, okay, well maybe not, just in case. Just in case it... Yeah, just in case I need that third save file for any reason, I've got it there. I mean, theoretically I don't need it, but then, you know, just in case I do, I'll at least I have at least one that's not the current save file. So I think I'll just leave that there. Anyway, let's just exit out of all those and head back onto the little jack and head to NASA. Yes, let's return to the little jack, shall we? Okay, so this is obviously Shrine Island. We need to head, um, I think, this direction? Like, we need to go for the cave entrance, don't we? That's where we need to go. So, we're trying to get towards that cave entrance, which I think was over here. And it is! So, we will obviously head down. If we can press the down button, that would be very helpful. Where is the down button now, though, friends? I think it was... Not that button. It was certainly not that button, I'll tell you that. Um, oh, that's what the down button was. Okay, right. That's good. Let's go forwards. Right, okay. So, through the cave we go, very carefully. Somehow it decided to make me go even further down, apparently. Anyway, it might be an idea to have a quick stop-off point at um, Sailor's Island. The reason being is because you just might need to replenish a little bit of our equipment. Might be an idea, you never know. I feel like some of my equipment needs to be replenished. So I'll do that. Anyway, we have a person that is talking to us. So let's see what he says. Domingo! Oi! Are you the guy that everyone is talking about? Right, right. I heard that you broke out of the Grand Fortress. Good job! I'm sure you've heard me during your travels. I am Domingo, treasure hunter extraordinaire. Oh, you've never heard of me, you say? Now, now, you don't need to be so bashful. I know you're truly excited to meet the real Domingo. Nevertheless, I have given up on searching for lost treasures, and have taken up a new quest. I now search the world for discoveries. In fact, I am the midst, in the midst of my search for the fabled Topple Rock. Who was that? He seemed to be more than a little full of himself. I don't know, but it sounds like he's looking for discoveries, too! Well, I can't let him get the best of us. We'll just have to find them before he does. Yes, we shall be looking for discoveries at, point, at some point. Maybe that top of rock would be interesting to have a look at, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be interesting? Let's head towards the potion shop, because we might need to sort ourselves out with the potions. Let's go in the door, shall we? It's a good idea. Okay, so we have a lady in front of us. Hey, aren't you Rise the Respected? I've heard plenty of stories about you lately. You seem to be the talk of the town. Let's talk about various things before we buy anything, why not? Sailor's Island is a great trading port. That's why we get new wares to sell every once in a while. So, you should check back here every now and then to see what new stuff we have on sale. 
since new trade routes are opening nowadays. You never know what sort of things we'll have on sale here sometime later. Let's buy and sell some items. Okay, let's just check what we got. I mean, we probably don't need to buy a lot, but we just replenish just, you know, anything we need to replenish. So, I think we just need, like, yeah, very few of these. I've got 56 magic droplets. That's amazing. I don't really need a lot more. 56 is quite a lot, don't you think? Uh, let's get one of these curio crystals, because we can. Um, and then, like, two of these, because we can. And one of those! Because we can. Okay, let's stop saying because we can, because it's, it might get a bit boring after a while. Anyway, we basically need at least 50 for each of these items. You're probably thinking, why? Why are they all at least 50? Why not have, like, at least 48 or... Well, they are at least 48, but why not have, like, at least 86 or something ridiculous, like a different number? Well, I just decided to have 50, alright? I just thought 50 was a good, nice, a good, nice number, and yeah, I just felt like 50 was a nice number we can use. So we've got 50, right? All right, very good reason. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, do we need to sell anything? Let's find out. Um, well, they've got a luxury box. I don't know what it does. A mage of the Yellow Moon has enchanted a box with the spell Electric. It has several charges. Well, that's good. Um, well, it's probably one of these sort of boxes, isn't there? They're like Electric Box and Pyre Box. I think I'll leave those for now. I won't sell them, really. Mace Hand and Hook Hand. I definitely need both of those. I'll keep those. How do I go to the next page? Sailor's Uniform. Not sure about that yet. In fact, I might have a look in, in the, um, the Weapons and Armor Shop, see if there's anything special. I think I'll keep both of those, just in case. You know, you never know when you need them. So, uh, there's nothing I need to sell, basically. Let's leave this lovely lady alone today. Thank you for shopping, stopping by. I'll be looking forward to your next visit. I'm sure you will. So let's head to what was the weapons and armor shop, why not? So just in case we need like any extras, you never know. How do I even get in the door these days? Apparently like that, okay. Well, it's Vice, the Respected. I've heard of you. Have you come here to see my wares? I have come to see your weapons and armor, yes. Everything else I've come to see, they will have to wait. Anyway, talk, and talk about various things, why not? Most weapons are made with moonstones and are made so that they react to other moonstones. So, if you obtain a moonstone of a new colour, you can change your weapon to that colour and change the properties of your weapon. Let's buy and sell some weapons. Okay, what do we have? Well, I must say, you've got a different kind of... Um, you've got different equipment this time around, which is interesting. It really is. And you've actually got more. Wow, you've got like two pages of this. That's interesting. All right. Scout Wing. Okay. Which is a weapon carried by crews of scouting parties. Eh? It is meant to be fast and deadly. So, obviously use that with caution, I guess. Um, I mean, that one there. Okay, so that decreases my attack. But it increases my high. High! Okay, fine. Uh, not entirely sure what high is meant to be here, but it's interesting. So that's a beak hand. Do I want to look like a bird? Probably not. So I might just leave that, because it's like lowering my attack stat. You can't lower my attack stat. That's like ridiculous. Anyway. Oh, we've got Elastigirl! Oh no, sorry. Elastamar. Elastarmor. Elastarmor. Okay, fine. What is this Elastarm all about? Well, it's going to make a very tight fitting, eh? Okay, so we've got a tight-fitting Ica, or we've got a tight-fitting Drachma. Not entirely sure if I want to think about the latter. Anyways, do I want this, or do I not? Well, it might be interesting for Ica, yes, because it's like t plus 10, so seems like a good item. Let's just look at the next one, though. Raincoat. So this is just a simple raincoat. Who would want a raincoat these days, eh? Durable coat worn by sailors to protect them from harsh elements. Harsh elements, eh? Um... Well, maybe, because it's like plus 12. So maybe. I feel like... 
That's obviously better. Like, Raincoat is better than Elastigirl. Isn't it, boys? Like, that plus 10, plus 10 for Ica, plus 3, plus 10, plus 12, plus 12, plus 5, plus 12. It's obviously better. So we're gonna go for Raincoat, I think. Even though it's not obviously raining. In this, you know, sailor's town, whatever. Okay. Cry on the Hound's Claw. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it, boys? A weapon modification used by Valiant soldiers. Improves the hit percent and hack power. Well, oh, I see hit percent. That's what high is. Okay. Uh, it decreases my attack, so it's like... Oh, hit percent. That must be like accuracy then, is it? Must be like accuracy. So that's pretty good if you want accuracy. Thieves Aura. Okay, so we've got like plus of defense by two, so it's a bit, bit awful. But it increases my do. It increases my do. Okay then. A ring with a black stone that improves the wearer's dodge percent. Ah, oh, dodge percent! Okay! And defense. Yes, I can see what DE is. Defense, obviously. Right. So, do I want to be dodging more or attacking more? Like, as in accuracy more? That's a good question. I think maybe accuracy, you know, accuracy of attacking more. Because if it's like really bad accuracy, then I'm not going to attack anything. I got a better defense and you're being able to dodge things and stuff, but it's like, you know, I feel like I want to attack things, right? It makes more sense. So, Crowhound's Claw over that is better, I think. Raincoat over that. Beak Hand I won't even bother with, and Scout Wing I'll probably get for Ica. So, let's go for the next lot. That's awful. That's awful. That's awful. That's awful. That may be interesting, but. A Thokrin Scout. I've currently got a Thokrin Scout. Okay, it raises my attack power. I feel like anything better than a Thokrin Scout can do better, right? Uh, I mean... Yeah. I mean, what is Thokrin Scout at the moment? If I have a quick look at Thokrin Scout, let's leave. And I have a quick look. Thanks! Come again! Make sure to check back here now and then to see what new weapons and armor I have in stock. Okay then. I will, because I'm literally going to be checking one thing and coming back to you. Oh my gosh, I've got Fina in here as well. I haven't even checked that out yet. Vice, okay. So I'm just going to quickly check what the Thokken Skull is. It's only 10 attack! Only 10 attack. That's pretty awful. Anything's better than that. Anything's better than that. I think, like, Aika has the same, isn't she? Aika has the same! What's been going on about here, boys? Fina? What have you got? A silver veil, that's interesting. Um, I think that's fine, actually. Silver veil looks pretty good. 16. Better than the Falcons, you know, Falcons thing. Alright. Okay, so he's got black eye patch, apparently. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think that's what I do. Let's go, obviously, buy those items. Maybe I should buy the armor first before buy, buying like potions and things. It makes more sense. Because if I buy potions, I'm going to waste all my money on potions and not enough on air. Okay, so first of all, let's get the scout wing. Because it's just literally better. Come on, boys. What are those? Okay. Yeah, sure. I will have a green one. I need to get, get rid of the, the other one. Yeah, let's sell that quickly. Okay. So value of Bang, we'll get rid of that. Okay, lovely. So now, if we go back to buying more items again, we want Raincoat. Yeah, we do, for both of them. In fact, how many people want it? Two. Yeah, two. Ico and Drachma. Okay, so two of those. Uh, one for Ica. lovely. So I need to get rid of the Sailor's Uniform. And one for Drachma. Lovely. So I need to get rid of the value and armor. Okay. So let's do that now. So let's sell. And get rid of the value and armor, which is... Eh. It's eh, I think. Let's get rid of it. We can get better anyway these days. Sailor's Uniform. I think... Yeah, that, that's awful, isn't it, now? Makes more sense. Oh. Yeah, okay, so sell both. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize there's two. Okay. So, we're basically 
we've already got the scout wing. We've got the raincoat now, which is nice. Um, I think I'll go for the... What do we decide on? The Cryogown's Claw? File Hound's Claw? Um, yeah, I think we did. Uh, that's still a difficult difficult um, choice though, isn't it? Well, because it was, it's going to be minus 8 attack. And it was originally 10 attack for both. For whatever I else I have at the moment. So I think I won't. Because of the attack stat. I need high attack stat. Um, that's dodge percent as well. It's always difficult doing these last two, isn't it? Because they're like really hard to think about. But I think I think I keep this, what I got at the moment because it's ten attack at the moment for both Vise and Ica. Drachma's got a black eye patch, which is seven attack at the moment. It's gonna be going to minus five. Yeah, I just feel like I'm gonna keep my attack stack up. I think. Um, and the dodge percentage. Yeah, I just want to keep the attack stack up. Stacked up. I think I'll just leave it as that. So it already equipped that. Okay. Mystic Dress, what's that? Interesting. Uh, enables the wearer to resist magic attacks. Say so it's uni uniform is rubbish, but that might be interesting, because it's like, you can resist magic attacks with that. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't... Well, you can only get it for Icon Fina anyway, but... Mm, do I really want to be, to be wearing a dress in battle? Not really. Okay, anyway. I think I, I think I'll just leave it like that. I got enough money to survive for anything important, so let's leave. Thanks. Come again. Make sure to check back here now and then to see what new weapons and armor I have in stock. Okay, I will do. Let's have a quick talk to Pinta. Did you want to ask me any questions about the Pinta quest? Um. Well, this is basically asking questions about the quest that I already know about. Well, I can ask for details, and then we'll go and go to NASA, I think. Well, since I'm here, I might as well ask you for a little more detail on the whole Pinter Quest thing. Sure! Now, listen carefully! If you're sent to be out using the Pinter Quest option, yeah, I'll head out on my own quest! I'll battle with storms and even other ships! If you can get past me those obstacles, I'll gain experience, money, and items! The more experience that I get, the higher level I will become! And as I become stronger and stronger, I will be able to defeat enemies more easily! My chance of finding really good well items will increase too. I hope you understood all of that. I did understand all of that surprisingly, so let's go and don't ask anything more. And we'll go to NASA now. I wonder what sort of items are found in the new lands that you discover. I wonder as well. It'd be interesting to find out, wouldn't it? Let's go and head to NASA. Because, you know, this is the whole point of this episode. It's not to buy items and spend our entire time in this episode in Sailor's Island. We've got we've to gotta go somewhere interesting. So let's do that. Yes. Uh, let's return to the ship. Okay. Okay, so which way was it to NASA? I think it was, like, east or something. Yeah, it was, because it was like this way-ish. This way-ish. We briefly headed towards NASA before in a previous episode, when we were trying to find a value and passport. It was around here, wasn't it? I think, like, literally between these two things here, we can head to NASA. I think. Though I'm not entirely sure. Um, can I go up, please? Up, thank you very much. That's very good. Okay, fine, we're going to get ourselves into a battle, why not? First battle of the episode. And we have got... What is the enemies on the screen for us today? We have a bunch of Thorquins! And we can definitely kill these Thorquins with our weapons. I mean, I hope we can. That's the main thing. 
Wait, what? Level 1, Fina? Level 1? Oh, come on, Fina. You've got to have slightly more levels than that. I mean, come on. Do I have to train you up from level 1? That's, like, so low. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be fine. He says, let's go kill these Thorkins. And Drachma, come on. You can, you, you can do some damage as well, so. Should be fine. Yeah. I think we'll be fine. Theoretically. I mean, we got two off the board already. There's only been two attacks. Well, that one missed, but don't worry. It's gonna miss its run. So, something. Anyway. That's wonderful damage, Fina. That is great. Oh my god. Okay, I need to train up Fina. Because, like, her damage with, with, like, the charm thing, whatever. I forgot the name of it. It's not called Cham, that's the food. What's the name of the thing that she has as the pet? Why have I forgotten? She literally said that in the previous episode. Oh well. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's just... Let's just defeat the enemy and we can obviously get some experience. I can't believe Fina's level 1. Like, seriously. Come on, Fina. You can do better than that. Leveled up! Yes, good! Oh my gosh, two levels up! That's brilliant! Level three already! Amazing! Well, uh, we'll be fine, we'll just head to NASA, and we can obviously, you know, stop the night there, or whatever they say. I'm sure there'll be some beds there. We can stop the night there, have some fun, and then get ourselves into another battle again? You know? I need to kind of avoid these battles, because Fina is so low! Don't want it this low. I want a much more easier to battle against whoever. Was there like some kind of enemy there? What is that? Have I seen that before? I don't think I have. That's weird. I'll have to see what that is called in a second. I didn't even look, did I? <laughs> oh, a score fly! Okay then. So, let's kill this gore fly. Okay, good. Lovely. So, apparently we met a new enemy today. This means it's not very good to meet new enemies, right? You're supposed to be avoiding new enemies, but whatever. But it's called a score fly. And I've got two more levels. Level 5 now. So hopefully, hopefully, Fina can level up nicely. And get to a good level before we're too worried. So through here, should lead us theoretically to NASA. We hope. I mean, I would presume so, because we've got a NASA air guard right now. And that looks like a place over there. I'm mean, not sure if it's actually NASA, but it could well be. So let's hope it is. So, NASA air guard. We are the NASA Air Guard. It is our duty to defend the Southern Danel Strait. The Southern Danel Strait is a restricted area. No unauthorized vessels may pass through here without express permission. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. So I can't get through here? You cannot answer. No matter how many times you try, unauthorized vessels will not be allowed past this point. What? I can't get to NASA? Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to get there then? There must be a different way. Like, seriously. Maybe I can go around the other way? Maybe? How do I even get there though? I have to go exploring, don't I? There must be a way to NASA. Like, other than this direction. There must be a different way. Why can't I go to NASA? It's really weird. Okay. So, where do I get permission from? But do I get someone to, like, give me permission to go there? To, um, to get to NASA? Do I have to ask someone in particular? Like, I don't know, a mayor of NASA for me to give them permission to go to NASA? Well, if I was going to speak to the mayor of NASA or whoever, right, I'd have to get to NASA first in order to speak to him to, sell, to ask him, can I go to NASA? So I can't do that. There has to be someone else outside of NASA that I can ask. 
Right. Why am I doing this attacking so slowly? I have no idea. Let's just try and speed up a little bit. Fiend leveling up quite nicely, so that's the main thing. We're getting through these battles. We're just trying to find a way to NASA. That's the main thing now. Um, because apparently you can't go this way. So I'm, I'm going to go round, okay? I'm just going to go round in a circle and get lost. Because that's a, what I'm very good at. You know me getting lost. Oh, boys, what the heck is this? Let's go towards it. Why not? What are those, fish? we have got some fish. I found some fish! Oh my word, I did never thought I was any good at fishing. And some more score fly. Okay. Well, I'm just going to get rid of the score fly and then we're going to head around, around and around and around and see if we can get towards the other side of NASA. Because it could be that just that way in, you know, the southern Dammel Strait, maybe that's just like you know, a place that is not accessible quite yet, or something, I don't know. Like a shortcut you're not supposed to go down. So if I can find a different way through, that'd be good. Level 6. Okay. Ah, I've ranked up as well. That's really good. So what's this? I don't know. It's something, I'll tell you that. I'm going around and around and around, seeing what the heck there is right there. I don't know. I'm just going to get lost for a while, hope you don't mind, and then we'll see what happens after that. We'll try and get somewhere, hopefully, and the skies are slightly bit, bit dark around here. It should be fine. Yeah, Fina, you really don't do that much damage, do you? Come on, Fina. You can do better than that. Okay, so if I probably go a little bit more forward slightly. Let's see if there's another way around. I mean, what's all this? I don't know, it looks dangerous to tell you that. Whatever it is. Let's be careful, alright? Just in case we encounter anything that's gonna be dangerous. We have no idea what's around here. So we're just gonna get through these enemies. I'll just basically proceed with caution around here because, you know, the skies are quite dark, so I expect there's probably like Valleywares nearby. Uh, so we just need to be careful. That's the main thing. Okay. So. How are we doing? Is there one more on the board? Oh, no, two more. Right, am I going to get experience? Yes, I am. Wonderful. Okay, so let's get through that. So, if we continue going forwards, we should find at least some way of getting in there. I don't know if we will, but you never know. I mean, that's the entrance to the valley, isn't it? As long as I avoid Valleywa, we'll be fine. So I'm just going to go around. Right, okay, so... Yeah, that was a bust. I don't think there's anything around here, is there? I don't know, is there? No, I think that's a dead end, don't you? I think that's a dead end? Okay, well, let's stop going through dead ends and try and find a way out of all this. Okay, am I just going to trail along the side of this uh, fog or whatever it's meant to be? Okay, well, let's run from this battle, because we don't need experience right now. Well, we do, but we don't. I mean, it's nice to have experience, but... Oh, wait, they're purple! They're thrick... Nah, thrillic? Thrillic? I don't know. Let's just get rid of them and see if we can get rid of them. 
Ow. Okay, so they have to do more damage, don't they? They definitely do more damage. I mean, okay, I'm able to get rid of them, but... They're a different... A different kind of, uh... Enemy, I tell you that. Ow! Really zero? Okay, you're gonna kill Fina if you're not too careful. Hmm. Yeah, we need to do something about this because, like... Yeah, we've basically ended up in a situation where we've got, like... Okay, let's use some magic. Or sacrifice crystal. Um, definitely Fina. I think, actually, if I use a Sacro Crystal on Ica, and then Rafina well, should be alright after we healed her up. Let's kill some more of these, these, uh, to relax again. Ow. Okay, well, you've killed Fina. Good job. Look, you're going to be sorry now. You know this. I'm going to beat you with retaliation. After I've healed myself first, though. Then we're going to use retaliation. I said I was going to run for this battle, but it's just because these enemies we've never encountered before, and I thought, well, let's see how, see how difficult they are. They actually are quite difficult, which is surprising. Um, do I need to save Fina? Well, I can do it after we finish this battle. We'll just sort this out first. Okay, so now we've sorted all that out, we can then theoretically heal up Fina. She'll be at 1 HP now, I'll tell you that. Let's have a look see what's going on. Yeah, 1 HP. Let's, um... Where's the items? Where's the items these days? Here, yeah, items. Okay, so I'm going to use the Sanctuary Crystal on Fina. And maybe another? That's alright. Ica's alright. Visor's alright. Okay. It's just Fina. She didn't need a bit more health, that's all. I think we're fine now. Let's just try and get past all this if we can. Okay. I think it's because we're heading towards some, like, dangerous waters. Or something. Um, some more fish again. Did we even get them? Probably not. Okay. Does this go anywhere? No, it's a dead end. Oh boy, so we've got another battle though, I'll tell you that. Okay, yeah, back to the normal enemies again, that's good. So it's just, we uh, momentarily had some difficult enemies, but we're back to the normal once again, so that's good. Okay, so I've, I've trailed at least the majority of this area now. I've gone around the whole edge, nearly, nearly gone around the whole edge. And it's like, still can't find a way in. Must be somewhere, of course. Of course. Because, like... Hmm. I suppose what I do, is I get clever, is if we end up he you know, heading back to the cave entrance again, then we'll head towards Sailor's Island and find out if there's any entrance into NASA. You know? Like a NASA passport or something, you know? We needed one for Valleyworth, maybe there's one for NASA. Maybe there is, let's find out. So I'm just gonna, you know, trail this here. And if we head back to Sailor's Island, let's so over Is this the cave? It is the cave. Alright, so that was a complete bust. Let's go to Sailor's Island and find, like, some sort of passport or something, you know? Or some way into NASA, because it must be a way. Like, I don't understand how you can't get to NASA otherwise. Right, let's talk to these kids here though. The ship parts merchant finally has some goods to sell again. And I even heard that the weapons merchant has some new stuff on sale. So you should go check it out. I already have, actually. I heard rumors of a fearless air pirate who managed to break out of Valor's Grand Fortress. I wonder how he got out alive. They always said the only way to get out of that place was in a coffin. Well, I was actually in a ship, so... Um... Yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll, 
we uh, survived, just the main thing. Let's talk to uh, the uh, guildmaster. So, you're the guy that everyone's been talking about. The one that could call his eyes the respecters. Welcome to the Silas Guilds. Talk about various things. Our guild collects information from throughout the world, so we constantly hear rumors of possible new discoveries. Every once in a while, we sell information on possible discoveries that we've heard rumors about. Of course, we can't pay that much money for whereabouts or any discoveries that someone else might have already discovered. But we still pay you for confirming the existence of the discovery. But the faster you find them, the more we'll pay you. Okay. Maybe it's something we can buy. Let's find out. Yeah, let's just get both of these. Why not? Okay, we've got another question mark. Hmm. It must be somewhere near the Air Pirate's roots. Maybe north of the Moonstone Waterfall. Maybe so. And of course, Purple Banners, why not? Let's get that as well. 25. It's near Miramba. That harbour town in the desert. It should be pretty easy to find. Okay then. So that's interesting. Uh, cell information. Guy sounds. Well, sure. <laughs> uh, yes, I've heard rumours of existence. I will pay if you know its location. No first to sell. Okay. Well, I think that's fine. Um, let's leave. In every port of any size, you always find a branch office of the Santa Scout. I suggest you pay a visit. I certainly will. Okay, so apparently I need to find a way. Hang on. Oh, he's outside. I was just gonna say. I thought, how's I gonna speak to him? Let's go speak to him, shall we? I've got news for you. If you don't have any money, do not bother me. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll leave him alone. Let's go to Polly's place and see if she has any way of getting into, a, you know, into NASA. You never know. There might be something. Talk to Polly herself. Well, well, long time no say. Yeah, are your kids bite? Lies there, Polis. Uh, everyone's been talking about the ones that have been fishing the valuable rounds. That's you, kids, isn't it? Eh, don't worry. Uh, it's turn you to the valuance. In my tavern, whenever you're a pirate or a soldier, you're a customer all the same. Well, that's good, Polly. That's very good. But you're not telling me anything how to get into NASA. Let's talk to the daughter, shall we? Um. Hello there, Mr. Vines. Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome to back. Welcome back to Polly's place. You should drop in more often whenever you're in the neighbourhood. Yes, I should. You're absolutely right. Very nice place here. Um, but you're not really helping me, are you? Let's talk to this lady here. This island is a gathering spot for sailors and traders. Keep your ears open, and if you hear all sorts of interesting rumors and information, okay, fine. And then you. Every time I come back to Sailor's Island, my first stop is always Polly's place. Her cooking is just so good. I feel like I've read like half of these quotes before, haven't I? Ah, all it takes is one meal, and I feel totally refreshed for my next journey. No matter what it is. And the lady here? What was that boy? This guy seems like he really likes a good meal. It, it looks like he spends all of his profits on food. It's hard to tell whether he eats to sail, or he sails to eat. Hmm. I suppose it does. Okay, well maybe if I speak to someone else around here, there might be a way in. Or something. All I'm looking for is some sort of information. Maybe I go over here. Maybe he has information. Hi! Hi you there! How you doing? I finally got in my new shipment of parts, so I'm back in business. And, to celebrate, I have plenty of secondary cannons on site. Make sure to purchase at least one before you go. What is a secondary cannon? So, uh, what's this secondary cannon that you're talking about? Secondary cannons are cannons. Yes, I know that. That you can fire for more than one round in a row. They are extremely useful. You can fire them well into the following rounds. 
allowing you to concentrate more firepower into specific rounds. Each individual shot may not be as strong as your main cannon, but it's always best to have a balance on everything, right? Well, let's buy a, sh let's buy a cannon, shall we? Let's find out how much they are. Standard cannon. Yeah, sounds good. And then, I also have like other things as well. Hmm. I've already got one standard cannon. Maybe I should have two standard cannons and two main cannons. Engine cover. Protects the ship's engine from getting dirty and increases the ship's quick. Hmm. Maybe. A standard armor deck, commonly available, improves ship's defense. Okay, we'll tell you what. Let's get an armored deck. Actually, if I can work out to get the, the bomb on there and the repair kit, then that's good. Let's get armor deck though. Okay. And we'll equip that. Yes. And the next thing I'll do is find out to get the bomb on there. Because I remember that I had, I had one on there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Thanks for stopping by. I get shipments of new parts every now and then. So be sure to come back soon. I will. In fact, I'm just going to quickly sort out my little jack. Oh, it's actually got a page for it. It's good. Alright. Equipment. Um, I need like this. There we go. Let's equip. Can't equip anything. Alright. Can I equip anything here? Can't equip anything. That's ridiculous. Maybe I can equip it here. Well, I had one, didn't I? That's the harpoon cannon. Right. I thought there was a way to even get it on in the first place. Um, oh, Cupel, that's the name of the little character. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out. Like... Yeah, that. How am I supposed to get that on my ship? Well, it doesn't get it doesn't cost that much to buy another one, so I'm just gonna buy another one and see what happens. I'll buy the cheapest one. Okay, because I have no idea how to get it on my ship, so I'm just gonna buy a new one. Buy the repair kit, because it's tiny. Yeah. Okay. And buy that as well. That's all it does? What okay, so you can't equip it then. Okay, fine. Well, I I don't know. Maybe I should get three armored decks. I mean, like, that would make defense be amazing. Engine cover. Do I need that? Probably not. I use an um, armored deck three times. So I have it on there. Yep. And I get one more. There. Okay. Lovely. So three armored decks. Lovely. Now, do I need any three-inch cannons? Um, a small caliber secondary cannon for smaller ships. Well, let's not, because it's very, if it's only for smaller ships, then it's probably a bit, you know, ridiculous or whatever. Um, because I might end up having a big ship at one point, and you know, a main cannon used in Valiant warships sometimes available in the black market. Really? Well, at least we know there's a black market on this. Anyway, um. Right, so yeah, I think I... Mm. Maybe I have two main cannons and two sound cannons. Is that a good idea? Well, it evens things out a bit more. Alright, let's do that. Let's have it there. Main cannon, sound cannon, main cannon, sound cannon. So it's even. Okay. Can I sell anything? It's a very good, a very good question. What is Revit Voice? Well, that's t that's awful, isn't it? I mean, like five defense and five magic. Nah, I'm gonna that. It's awful. Okay. No, I think the rest I'll keep. The rest I'll keep. I won't bother doing anything else. All right. Let's just leave this. Thanks for stopping by. I get shipments of new parts every now and then, so be sure to come back soon. Okay. Well, I think there's only like one more house I can go to, and then we can think. Well, this talk to the person here, just in case he knows anything about Nasa. You never know. I can hardly believe how it 
How it is to be seen as a an amazing fellow that the first out of the Vandal Guard Fortress. Just think that he fastened out the most fastest of silver walls. Man, it's too incredible! Okay. Fine. Let's go into, into the store then. Right. Do you have any idea how to get in NASA? So, you're this prize the respected that everyone seems to be talking about. Well, it's a pleasure to actually meet you. The rooms are 60 gold a night. Would you like a room? Uh, no, not tonight. Oh, you're not going to stay? Well, it's your choice. But it can be very refreshing to spend a night on land now and then, you know? I'm sure it can. Let's go save, though. And then we'll consider what we're going to do. Because it's like... You know. Actually, one, one save. I need to go there, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, so save there. So, we need to have a bit of decision. We need to have a decision about this. Like, what are we going to do? We can't find a way to get into NASA. And anything upstairs. We can have a look upstairs. And then we'll find out if there's anything upstairs. Yeah, there is actually. It's laid up here. To the south of here, there's an area surrounded by stone reefs and sky rifts. If you have a ship that can make it through the stone reefs, you'll probably be able to make a lot of discoveries in that area. Stone reefs. Oh, that's the solution, isn't it? I probably have a ship that can get through some roofs. I feel like that's the way through. Hmm. Thank you, girl. I think you've given me a lot of insight there. Let's go and see if we can get through. Go downstairs, please. Thank you. I'm actually going to quickly check to see what's in this house down the back here as well. Let me put down there. And then I will think about finding if I can go through the stone roofs. Anything in there? Yeah, there's some something down the bottom here. Some barrels? Hmm. This must be where they store stuff. It doesn't look like the sun reaches in here, so it's cold and dark. Yes, they certainly store a lot of things. Yes, okay, let's go up the ladder. Anything up here? Not that it actually is, but you never know. It's a really slow ladder, unfortunately. Most ladders are. Okay, we'll just check to see what's up here, and then obviously we'll go head out and find out this ladder doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, it does lead somewhere. I thought it was going to go like... Um... Great, okay, that's useless. <laughs> so it leads like at the top of this tower, and I thought there'd be someone here to talk to or something, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so let's just exit out of here and head towards those stone rifts. The girl mentioned about the stone reefs. I think she's right. I think we need to bash through some stone reefs. Like the one over there. Behind us, you know. The one I can see. And if I can head through that, I can head through anything. So let's go do it. Return to my ship. Okay, so now we've got some value in, uh, valuable, valuable insight. Can I actually speak English these days? Anyway. Where was the stone reef? Over there. I'm just going to go straight for it. And press the button. It goes straight through. It goes straight through. Oh, boys. I have no idea where I am right now, but hopefully I'm somewhere. Oh. Maybe this is the way to NASA. This must be the way to NASA, because I'm able to get through a stone reef. Wow! There's nothing here but sand! So, uh, this is the desert. Uh, I've heard sailors talk about them before, but it's my first time actually seeing one. Now that you've mentioned it, I've heard sailors talking about them too. They said that the NASA deserts are so hot, if you walk around in the sun too long, your hair catches on fire. 
Everyone carries buckets of water with them, so they can put their friend's hair out and then... Oh, come on, Ica. You don't actually believe those crazy stories. Sometimes I wonder what goes on in that head of yours. Don't come crying to me when your head bursts into flames! That glass eye patch you wear will intensify the sun's rays and will fry your brain! I'm just kidding, Rise. It's just a story that I heard long time ago. I didn't really believe it either. <laughs> but you can't be too careful. The moonstones that fall from the red moon give up a, a great deal of heat. It's too hot for most plants to survive. Because of this, the lands of NASA have been reduced to a barren wasteland. I see. There isn't much down there besides sand and rock. The red moon crystal should be hidden somewhere in the desert, right? That's right, Vi- sorry, wrong person. <laughs> That's right, Vice. It is buried deep within the ancient temple of Pyrin. An ancient temple? I bet there's so all kinds of treasure in there. Maybe some gold and gems and magic stuff. And nice clothes. And, and, stuff. If we find a bunch of treasure, we'll be rich. We can buy whatever we want. What's the first thing you'd buy, Fina? Uh, buy? Um... Um, what does that mean exactly? What? Fina! You don't know what that means? I... I'm terribly sorry. I've never seen the rest of the world before, and... You don't need to look very far to find a shop. Everyone buys stuff. It's... It's normal! Well, Fina! You really don't get out much, do you? According to the map, there's a city nearby called Maramba. Let's go there first. I'm too old for this. Okay, let's head towards Maramba. But first, we'll see what these things are to the side of us. Are they, are they volcanoes? Oh, okay. How do I get to Maramba? Must be around here somewhere, right? Maybe this is Mamba. What's this? Uh... Hmm. Let's find out. What is this? Well, I don't know. It's just a bunch of enemies, I think. A dual beetle. Okay, fine. So at least the dual beetles are easy to to kill. Yeah, so that's that's good then. Because obviously you need to get to NASA quite quickly. Uh, because like otherwise, you know, most of this episode is gonna be me hunting around for NASA and going to Sailor's Island and like nothing else. So, you know, don't be wasting time doing other things, so let's head to NASA. Serves up right. Hmm, that's good. So now we can head on. Right, I don't know what that's meant to be. Oh, it's a discovery. You found the wandering lake. Oh, boys, it wanders, apparently. I wonder what it's wandering about. Anyway, wandering lake. The truth behind the story of the disappearing lake is even stranger. Temperature differences make a large ball of rock float above the desert sands, holding a lake of clear water. Once the, cool, once the water cools off, it settles downward again. Oh, interesting. Uh, we have a ship. A dangerous ship. Can I get around it? Yeah. I think I can. Okay. So I'm going around the ship because I don't want to get into a battle right now. Is there any sort of dangerous battle? Oh, is this the place I need to go to? Because this is a, like a... You know... It's a pyramid here, so if I can sort of land... 
then we can obviously land, and that'd be a good landing, don't you think? Yes, let's do that. Get past all this. I don't know what these are. They're not the they're not the beetles, are they? That's something else. Okay, fine. Well, let's just get through them. They're, they're aspects. Oh, they're aspects. Aspects. Okay, let's just get through them and land and uh, lupalon, lupalon, lupalon. Okay. Right. They're gonna try and run away, apparently. But we're gonna try and attack them. Attack the Azbeth. Okay. So we're just gonna quickly get past these Azbeths, because we can't be spending here attacking Azbeths when we should be getting Asa, you know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, what are you doing for the rest of your life? Attacking Azbeths. It's a bit silly, right? I can't say that on your CV. Alright. So let's head towards NASA. Okay. Can I land here, please? This is not a place to land. It is a Temple of Pirin. Oh! Temple of Pirin. A stone building thought to have been created by an ancient dynasty. The stonework and construction demonstrate a high level of technology for that period. But no clues, sorry, no clues are left that point to the purpose behind these huge creations. Rise! This is it! This is where the red moon crystal is buried! Great! Let's land this ship and search the place right away! Wait, boy! Head to town first! I've got some things that I need to take care of! There's a port city near Maramba here! Go there first, got it? Um, sure. Uh, no problem. I just thought that we could, um... Never mind. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, let's head towards Maramba, because I don't want to go to a dungeon right now. I need to go to a town. Where is Maramba? Um, well, I'm going to go this way and find out. Try to avoid any enemies. Ah, oh, where is this place that I need to go to? Is there anywhere here at all? Or is there just literally black ships everywhere and like no places? I tell you what, I'm going to run for this battle. Spending too long spending too long battling. Okay, can we run? Yeah, okay. Right. Lovely. Okay. So, I'm trying to find Maramba right now. Is it around here somewhere? Another battle! This whole desert area is like massive. I'm trying to find this one town is ridiculous. Okay. Oh boys, he's calling alleys. What he missed? That thing there is running away and it's a stone beak. Okay, fine. Now it's got easy enemies, let's run. No, we can't. Alright, let's just attack. Uh, let's just run again. Can we? Can we run? Even when there's one asbest on, on, on the... Uh, on here. Can we just run away? No, okay, we can't run as an asbest on screen. <laughs> well, we can now. Because the battle just ended, so we can just obviously get away from that. Right. Good. Right, anything around here? I mean, all this nothingness must leave somewhere, right? Can't lead nowhere. Oh, it's that tornado thing. In fact, there's several of them. I don't think this is the right way to go, somehow. Okay. I think that's a bit too far out of the, uh, out of our comfort zone to go over there. Because I don't know what it is first, and it might be dangerous, right? Exactly. Okay. Well, that's brilliant! That's the, that's the best battle yet! I love that. That was really, really good. That is literally amazing. Okay, fine. <laughs> Curious that. Okay, good. Right. 
Now look at that later. Right, we have, of course, we have those. That thing, I mean. What's that? Is that a ship or something? Is that just like a discovery again? Am I just getting all the discoveries and not finding the town I need to go to? What is this? <laughs> I don't understand why we're not finding anything. Ah! I mean, obviously we're finding discoveries. We found that temple thing. We found some other discoveries, I think. Like the Wandering Lake or whatever. We're finding discoveries, but we're not finding the actual thing we need to find. Which is the Maramba. I don't understand why. It makes no sense. Can we at least find, find the town so we can end this episode? <laughs> uh, this episode is like really long right now. I bet you. Not expecting it to be this long. I'm expecting it to be like, you know, finding NASA and then, you know, having a quick look around the town and then, then finishing up the episode, you know? Didn't want it to be like this long. So well. Uh, to be honest, when I'm always doing this series, I have no idea how long, like, to do certain battles or whatever. So I just, I try and judge it on like how much time I feel like I spent. And then even so, I still don't know how much time I've spent, so we'll find out. Okay, just try and get this done. Just, just attack it, please. Thank you. Right. Like, always the way. Always getting lost in these places. Like, we're trying to fly around in our ship and we get lost. Easily. It's just what happens, right? I'm bad at finding directions. Noxy was there, that's good. I'm leveling up for no reason. What's this thing? Where's the up button? Where's, is that up? That's up. What is this? Welcome to NASA, the Desert Kingdom. There's a park called Marambo nearby. Your ship looks like it's been quite, through quite a bit. Maybe you should restock your supplies there. Maybe I should. Is this NASA? Is this it? Have I found it? I just literally went in circles for like 50 years. I think I found it. And then I get into another battle again. Oh my word. Yep, another battle. Okay. Can we just get through this battle? Okay, is it gonna run? No, it's gonna miss. It's calling allies. It's calling allies and it's missing. Actually, it's still got these things on the, the drill. Oh no, that's just the move they're using. I don't know what that does, but at least it doesn't do like a massive, you know, problem, hopefully. I think it slows me down. I don't know what it does. Missed, okay. Maybe it makes my characters tired or something? Yeah, the, the beetles, okay. Right, can I please just get through this? Really? You're gonna miss the attack? They're still trying to call those, those uh, allies, aren't they? Okay, let's look over that Peter. You're gonna slow down Fina now, are you? Oh, no, you missed. Okay. Oh, looks like our attacks just keep missing. It's really annoying. Okay, there you go. That's a crit. <laughs> it's using drill constantly. But at least it's not attacking us. It's using these other moves that don't attack, which is good. 
That's the main thing. This is not actually attacking us. But we're still missing our attacks. Maybe that's the whole point. Maybe they're just trying to make the battle of like really long by constantly making us miss or something. Uh, I don't know what that does. Or oh, is that put me to sleep? I think it's putting me to sleep. I wonder what happens if they put me all to sleep. Definitely a long battle there, isn't it? Ah, we've got another jewel beetle to try and get rid of. Four damage. Oh come on. Okay, right. Let's think about this a little bit more now because we're having issues <laughs> trying to get rid of this. All right, can I? Instead of using attack, can I use magic? Yeah. Okay, we're just going to use, like, Incrim or something. Get rid of... No! Why do you use... Hang on. That's the wrong move anyway. Right. Let's use Crystallis. On the Dua Beetle. Have I got magic? Yes, I do. What do these do? Ryzen. Hmm. I don't know. Curia probably does... Curia probably cu cures me, I imagine. Pyre, it's Pyre. Okay, good. At least that gets rid of it. Because it's so difficult trying to get, able to kill, get rid of these things. Is Vise okay? He seems to be hovering around it there. Okay. I think they're just still asleep. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, have we, have we finished the battle now? That wasn't so bad. Yeah, we finished the battle. Okay, good. Now I'm just gonna quickly check to see if my my team is like still asleep after that. I don't think they will be, but. Um, no, they're fine, I think. Alright. Lower, and go into Maramba. So, uh, this is Maramba. It's so hot. Huh? Where did the captain go? Hey! Wait! Captain! Where are you going? This is where we part company. I've got my own quest to worry about. I've got to find Rackham. What? Wait a second! What are we supposed to do? We're in the middle of a desert without a ship. How are we supposed to be con how are we supposed to continue our mission? That is not my concern. I have no interest in crystals or temples. I must find Rackham. I cannot waste any more time babysitting. Hey, come back here, you eye patch wearing freak. You rusty old man. Hey, are you listening to me? Oh my, this isn't good at all. What should we do? We can't even get out of the city, let alone make it to the temple. We're stuck here. <sighs> well, we have no choice right now other than to start exploring the city. Maybe we can find someone who can take us to the temple. That's all we can do. For now. Drachma has left the party. Okay. I have made it to Maramba. 
boys, which is obviously part of NASA. Let's save. Finally made it, boys. After such a long time exploring the skies and getting nowhere, we finally found Maramba Port, which is where we want to go for now. I always wanted to get here for like the whole of the episode, to be honest. Okay. Is there any like buildings around here? Well, we've got this one here. Let's just go inside the building and we'll just stop it. I think we're. Stop and stay, rather. Because, like, it's better to be inside a building than not to be in a building, you know? So, tell you what I do. Because we're inside a building, we're inside the coolness of the building. It's much more easier on our hair inside the building than it is outside. So I'm going to stay inside the building so I don't get too hot. Anyway, I think this is where I'm going to wrap the episode up for now. The reason being, like I said, it's that this episode dragged on a bit, right? Didn't mean it to, but unfortunately it did. Kind of sorry about that. I got lost for ages. <laughs> anyway. I think I'm just going to end it here, and basically, obviously, we'll continue in the next episode. We'll, you know, go around Maramba, see what there is, and things like that, and see what we can do. So, yeah, we'll, we'll continue in the next episode. Right. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.